Hi everybody, I'm Jeff Spock, lead writer and narrative director of Amplitude Studios, back with another focus video on the main factions. We're gonna continue that thread that we've been doing. And this is the new one. We have a new main faction, the first one in a long time, coming out with our new Shadows expansion for Endless Legend. Okay, this new faction is called the Forgotten. And they have a very specific story and lore and a lot of very specific gameplay tied to the gameplay of the expansion, which is all about espionage, sabotage, spying, that kind of thing. So the backstory of the Forgotten is these guys. They're a branch of the Vaulters. They were sort of guinea pigs of the Vaulters as the Vaulters were trying to figure out ways to survive outside when Argo was in this horrible cataclysmic state with storms and was ravaged by all sorts of ecological catastrophes and that sort of thing. The Vaulters are sending people out there seeing if they'd live or not and, and what, how they could mutate them to get them to live. Well, what finally happened is some of them survived. These people that survived didn't like the Vaulters much, of course, and part of their adaptation was becoming incorporeal, sort of. They would turn, turn partially invisible, partially in mist, and that was one of the things they developed to be able to survive outside in this horrific environment of Oregon. So you see that in the faction gameplay as well. These are, the, these are units in the game that can become invisible. And in fact, if you have a forgotten hero leading an army, you can make the entire army stealthy, invisible, so it can travel across the map. Now, other factions will get a piece of that. They'll get camouflage so they can hide units on forest tiles. But the forgotten, they can go all the way. They can become completely stealthy. So that's a really fun twist to the, to the military gameplay that we've had so far. So as far as the units go, there's three units, of course. There's the assassin, who is sort of the frontline melee unit who will occasionally disappear, show up behind you and backstab you because that's how we roll. Uh, there's the mist, which is a flying unit. It can sort of become incorporeal, strike several units at once and then come back to its place. So it's almost like a chain lightning kind of attack. And then there's the predatore, which is a distant unit, dual armed crossbows. I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this. So those are the three unit types we have for the forgotten. A really key thing also with the forgotten is uh, a lot of the gameplay is fairly hero focused because you put a hero in an enemy or in a friendly city as a spy. You get to see everything that's in the city, you can take all sort of actions to, well, have fun with, with the other player. Uh, you can impact the industry, the science, you can reduce their field of vision, you can disable the governor if there's a hero who's a governor there, uh, attack the fortifications. You can make your diplomatic actions with them cost less. You can influence them and get them to do things. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with that gameplay, but it requires a hero. So you have to think about having a few more heroes in your academy, and that's one of the reasons in the uh, faction quest you get an extra hero early on because it is very, very hero-oriented. So their whole faction quest is about vengeance and retribution. It's kind of dark, but it's kind of a dark faction as well. So that's, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to play and to, and to discover. So there you go, that's the Forgotten. The Shadows expansion pack to Endless Legend. Get it, play it, have a lot of fun with it. I think there's a lot of great new gameplay in there that you'll enjoy a lot. I'm Jeff Spock for Amplitude Studios. Thank you very much. If you have any comments, please post them on Twitter. Uh, go to our forums here in the comments as you wish. See you next time. Thanks a lot.